What's going on there? Oh, Welcome to Bone Broth and Games here on the Super Divorce YouTube channel. Nicholas Blars here, aka Super Divorce. Um, well, you might be on the uh, YouTube channel, you might be on the Twitch channel of Super Divorce, but you're probably on the YouTube channel if you're anywhere with me. Um, I don't promote myself on Twitch. I don't really watch anything on Twitch, but I was able to connect, you know, the old uh, streaming software to broadcast to Twitch anyway. So I figured, why not? Why not go ahead and do it? Yeah. So we're doing it. And we're here live with uh, Sonic Frontiers again, which I was not sure when I got off last night uh, that I would come back and play this game at least not immediately but I've decided to after thinking about it some more today I was like all right well you know I bought it I don't just want to let it sit there I don't buy many AAA titles these days because I play mostly indie games but I wanted to play this I've been playing uh, Sonic games recently and I thought it would be good to do so uh, I, I should why are you thinking of not hmm why didn't you want have a bad time yeah it's just a strange game it's a very strange very strange game oh. uh hello carrot thank you for being here this evening we're gonna continue on with our sonic frontiers but do you think it'd be possible for you to blend this up again yeah is your butter risen to the top no it's not the butter it's the uh it looks like the salt has like it hardened on top. I've never it's seen like that happen. Crystallized. Oh. My bone broth salt has uh, risen to the top and kind of crystallized. It's like got like a creme brulee. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I don't, it's not good. Did you? It's uh, not what we need. Did you whip it with the whipper? No, I didn't know where the whipper will was. Well, I'll, I'll hook you up. Okay. All right. Oh boy, Sonic Frontiers says carrot very excited to get back into this one like I said I was thinking about it and I was like I can't just let it sit you know I need three more of the keys right that's what we figured out I thought that it was telling me okay uh, I can go ahead and unlock it because I've got 17 and I thought it only took three but what it's I think what it's saying is that it's gonna take 20 keys for me to unlock this silver Cheos emerald thanks All right, let me try this again Since I didn't start with a very good sip here let me go that's better Alright, so I can't fight the Phoenix guy riding around. I can't get this um, Cheos Emerald yet. So I'm just going to hop on down this way. And what should I make the focus be here? Where am I? Why don't I try to clear up the map? That In games like this, that's normally what I do. That's normally the first order of business is to go around and uh, clear up the map... And while I'm at it, maybe get any of these uh, memory shards. Is that what they're called? Is that what they're called? Memory tokens. I see I'm thinking, I think memory shards are from Assassin's Creed. But this reminds me of Assassin's Creed, how you've got these like, you know, the blocky appearance of the map. It's kind of blocked out. You can see little pieces of it. I'm right here. I need to do things that will open up all of this uh, map in front of me so I can figure out what exactly I should be doing, what what the next order of business should be. And, uh, okay, Just starting a timer. And I need to make it where? I'm trying to get over to that block right there, okay. It's kind of a straight shot, isn't it? This doesn't seem like it should be too difficult. 
long as I don't fall off the bridge. Yeah. Okay. How are things going, Carrot? How are you doing tonight? And anyone else who might be watching, how are you this evening? Chatters in the chat. Everyone doing all right? Anyone played this game yet? Carrot, did you s decide to run out last night and pick up a copy of Sonic Frontiers just for yourself? I only commented about it one time on Twitter today on uh, a thread, I think started by the Sega Mania magazine guys. They had asked if anyone was playing it, and I said, yeah, I started it, and it was, uh, it was weird. It's a weird game. Not saying that I hated it, it's just not, you know. Is this the first one to be kind of more open world like this? No, not exactly, but it's, it's, uh, it's got a lot of elements from various games that kind of feel mashed together and make it strange for a Sonic the Hedgehog game. Carrot says he had a busy day, happy to be home. Busy doing what? Christmas shopping? Start some Christmas shopping today? I don't remember what that is. Maybe he was or this. working or doing manual labor. Could have been. He's tired. Let's see. Down here, that's one of those things I can do. Uh, th I don't remember what those guys are called. Yeah, you gotta collect them and then take them back to some fellow. Those aren't ones that I can collect. The ones I can collect are, are all lit up and sparkly. Carrot says, I'm fairly certain I could have a more coherent and memorable experience if I took the cost of this game and instead used it to trip balls. Well, what if you used it, what if you used some of the money to trip balls and then uh, just watch me play this game? That might be a compromise. Might heighten the experience a little bit. Um, I should be able to set a beacon. I'm figure out what that is over there. Cross back over the bridge. Let's see what we've got here. What is this orange marker? I don't remember what that is. Uh, yes, this right here. What am I supposed to do with this? You are not ready. Return when the time is right. Thanks. Oh. Thank you. Hmm. I tried to use your recipe. Alright, well I can't do that yet because it's uh, something I have to come back to after I've completed more of the main story. Oh, I, I bet it can and I bet it will. What's so weird about it? Should I just watch, yeah, just, watch the other one? Yeah, you could watch the other <clears> one. <throat> or just keep watching as we go along here and see if you think it strikes you as a traditional Sonic the Hedgehog game. No, I think the last time I played Sonic was when you, well, there's a little bit of that in this, but it's not. That's not how most of the yeah, game like goes. Yeah. 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 There, there are like a million Sonic games. Who, Sam Porter Bridges? That's what we were saying last night. It's like... I know. It's like Death Stranding. Whoop. Uh, they might have. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking when they made it. There's a couple of those guys. What's 
No, it's it's getting mixed reviews. Like I said, I don't think it's awful. I just think it's odd. Nope. No. That's not how to do that. Possible. Uh, we just did something there. What did that do? Hmm. I don't know. Ah! Well. Okay, so we've got some more highway there. Is that new? No. This way. I bet I could jump through the middle of those, but I'm not going to try it right now. Cause... Check that off. Uh... I don't know why I can collect some of these guys, but not the other ones. I don't know what the deal is there. Let me see. What else do I need to unlock here? Where am I? Right here. Hello, Jorfus. How are you doing tonight? Uh, looks like I can go up this mountainous area here to my left somehow. Uh, no. Well, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to go up. How do we go up there? Here. They're sending me on a bit of a wild goose chase here. I think I've been over here before. Not exactly what I wanted. See, I'm trying to go the other way. I don't want to be launched to the left, I'm trying to go to the right. Well, Carrot, you wouldn't like to hear about the fact that our house is fully decorated for Christmas now. Yeah, we normally do wait, but actually I think I mentioned that. I think I did mention that we were decorating the other day. Because I said I didn't want to get all of the Halloween stuff out and put it away. Or, or rather, have to take the... Christmas stuff out of the same area where we put the Halloween stuff back and then situate things twice in one month so I just did it all at the same time that's understandable hmm hmm I don't know he looks okay. Looks like Sonic. I mean, the running feels alright. It's just... The game feels weird. Clear with 50 uh, rings and... No, find all the red star rings. That was something I didn't do. But I don't... Yeah, I already did that level. I don't want to go back and try and perfect things yet. I'm just trying to get through the main story, and I don't think I'm going to have to perfect every single challenge to get there. I just... I've been in this area for a while, and I'd rather try and move on to someplace new. It 
always tastes better than when I do it. I don't know what you're doing. Maybe you should be doing it all the time. I don't think that's true. Oh. You just have a negative relationship with cooking now. Hermit Coco and Seeds. Give the Hermit Coco the red seeds of power to raise Sonic's attack and the blue seeds of defense to raise Sonic's defense. <laughs> and last we meet Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't think we've met. Just like the Coco, you have touched the digital dream. Unlike most, I know how to listen to it and hear some of its secrets. To hear it properly, though, I must keep to myself. Call me a hermit if you like. It is the path I've chosen. Have you found any seeds in your travels? I think I have. You mean these things that the robots sometimes drop? Indeed! I will unlock their power and pass it on to you. Alright, let's power up. Defense level raised 1 to 12. Power level raised 1 to 6. Carrot says, I got a neighbor who puts so much lights and stuff up every year, I don't even want to imagine his electric bill. I'll have to make a post on Twatter when he's got it all set up. Do that, I'd like to see it. Um, Karen, er, Karen, Mr. Jorfer says this. Karen is so Karen, but so Karen that she demanded to speak with God. Is that your joke of the night? Bring me more seeds and I will give you more power in return. Okay. We've unlocked an achievement called Hermit Coco Encounter. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Jorkus, for your joke of the night. Where am I? Am I to go up there now? What does this mean? seed inside. I think that'll be used for my defenses. For raising my defenses. <laughs> Carrot says, Carrot eating Christ, they've got more shit for us to remember. I don't expect that this game is ever going to let up. I think that it's probably going to continue. Uh, well, shit. Now what does this do? All these little mini games that we have to. What? Well, get them all without. I know. I know. I get it. No. Wait. What? Don't say little buddy. Because you're condescending me. No, I was happy for you. I was excited. Little buddy. I thought that would open up some of the map. I guess not. That was just for fun. Well, it gave me one of those red seeds, but that's about eelt. What's called Karen's? Oh, yeah. 
I was, uh, I saw those and I couldn't remember the name. One of my clients tattooed a stack of, can like, a Karen on her. Mm. And I didn't know what it was, and I kept Karen. Oh. It's confusing. That would be confusing. But it's nice considering there was a Karen joke. Well, now everyone's saying little buddy. Well, <laughs> well look at him. Yeah, well, they're you counting on. No. You wouldn't. No. What'd you call him? Sonic. But not like no endearing nickname. No. Never. No, he'd probably because I. He's a hero of, of time. Well, I know, but if not exactly. That's like that's Link, out. but. Uh. No, I don't think I would do that. No, you wouldn't, I wouldn't give him a nickname like that because I think that would be disrespectful. Yeah, I know. But I don't think that he would appreciate that. I'm not gonna do this. Am I? I don't know what I'm supposed to do to this guy. Maybe run up his, uh,. Appendage. Let's see. Do I think I could beat Sonic in a fight? I don't think so. Wait. Oh, I go up like that. I thought those things would uh, cause me harm. What am I trying to lock onto here? I wonder. Where's his weak spot? Oh, right there. Go right back at it. Hold on, he's got some sort of shield up now. Oh, it gives me a little opening. Well, I thought I was locked onto him. Now they're. Hmm. Now they're expanding and contracting a swell. One, two, three, and then they shrink. Got another one. Let's get back up there then. Nope! Oh, damn it. Come on, get some rings. Get some rangs and things. Now we're gonna have to. Probably the, the red ones are the ones we want to avoid. Wait for him to. Well. Nope. Okay. Oh, well. Yeah. Let's just run on up there. Get on up there. We only got five rangs. And now we got these red something or others coming after me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Shit damn ass. Try again. Really? I thought I was a Sonic Pro for a second. I think I got screwed out of that. I you know, it looked like I had him completely. Let's try this again. Now that I know what's up. Let's see what happens now. Oh look, now he's... Now he's a little butt-hurt baby. Throw your trunk down there. 
Get up there. Come on. What are you, what are you doing? Okay. Now, lock on. Wait for it to shrink again. And then go after. You get a contraction. All right. Wait it out. And... Get him. Well, you know. Let's waste no time here. Well, you know, that's, that's just about some shit. Now I'm going to have to find rings because I've been knocked all the way down. Alright, where's the way up here? Let me... Oh, he's, he's lifting his trunk. Well, I'm sure Jorpus can see that we're embroiled in a, a big boss fight here. So I'll, I'll answer your questions in due course. Just... Just a second. Just let me try to handle this son of a bitch. Well. Get up. Come on. Ugh. See, then when you start to run fast, it becomes so quick, it's hard to control. There we go. Oh. Uh, why don't I'm gonna wait for that knock him out now please got him okay See, why can't I collect these guys? We've got uh, a gear out of that. I was kind of hoping for a key. Carrot said you had 300 rings and it gave you what? A few hits? I mean, I get you can use your Psy loop to get more rings, but that's just brutal. Mr. Jorfus wants to know, who is the red guy that appears in some of your posts or in some of your videos? The red guy. What red guy? Huh? Why would he be the red guy? What do you mean by the red guy, Mr. Jorfus? I don't know. This is like bordering on creepypasta right now. The red guy who's in my videos. I don't know a red guy. Is he just like someone who's looming in the background of some of my videos that I've never even noticed? Uh, did I... Taking out that guy didn't even uh, clear up anything on the map for us. That's kind of weak. Maybe this, yeah? Oh, that was the one we have to get all the way to the top of, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. How are we supposed to get up there? So via this. Yoing. No idea where that leads. Okay. Nope. Nope. How about... Well. Just go up. And just try your best. Where's where's the next thing? Right here? 
Well, what would be faster? Go on up, Sonic. We made it. Hooray! Uh, it appears in the corner, for example. It appears in the Resident Evil Village stream. The red guy appears in the Resident Evil Village stream. I don't know, that's been so long. Uh, it's been so long ago that I did that RE Village stream. A red guy. Carrot, do you happen to know who he's talking about? Because I don't think Jess knows who the red guy is. Who appears in the corner. Yeah, we did Lego streams. Uh, we're going to do some again. Soon. I hadn't announced that, but it's gonna. we're going to come back with uh, some Lego streams. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I can. Should I look it up? Should we look up this video? I think Carrot is looking right now. In the thumbnail, the funky looking dude. In the thumbnail for the. Uh, Resident Evil Village streams that I did. There's a, a guy in the corner. Jess is going to look and show me here. How you, far down is this going to be? Just go to live and then scroll down until you see. Oh, it's a live video? Mm hmm. Resident Evil? Yeah. Should be from sometime last year. Hmm. Guess I haven't done that yet, have I? What's he talking about? There's like a heart. Are you talking about this red guy? That was the mercenaries. Oh, I... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and he's in uh, all the thumbnails for the, the What Could It Be Now. That is the singer from the band uh, Men at Work. Is it this guy? Yeah. I oh. think that's who they're talking about. The guy with the crazy eyes. Because I used them on What Could It Be Now? Mm -hmm. And in that one for Resident Evil, wherever it went. It was up here. Um, yeah. it's He's kind of staring at Lady uh, Dimitrescu's uh, breast right there. Oh, I see. There's, yeah, there's boobs. Yeah. Is he also like Ryan Gosling? What's he staring at there? He, he, just hanging out. He only did it those two times. And I think on like pretty much every thumbnail for what could it be now. Because he's curious about what's in the box. That's silly. Okay, so if I jump down and uh, go to my left, I might find something. Oh, yeah. Haven't been here yet, I guess. All right, you guys ready for another Sonic, uh, another classic Sonic type adventure? Is that sarcasm? Maybe. Yeah, the Darkest Dungeon streams were fun, but I, I got my ass blasted in that game. That is a tough, tough game. I had fun playing it, but. I got my butt handed to me. I couldn't deal with it at a point. Had to stop. Harry! Jump. Uh, activate Phantom Rush. Come on, activate the Phantom Rush. We got it. It's when you're playing Castlevania and you whip the wall. 
You whip like a brick in the wall and you re reveal a chicken sitting there. Why is there a chicken? Because that's what you eat as a power-up. Okay. I could go for some of that. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this. This looks cool. Imagine if the whole game were like this. Wouldn't this be so much better? Now this is what I was kind of expecting. Uh, but you only get little glimpses of this type of thing. Whoop. Yeah, I haven't been to this level before. This is pretty cool though. I don't know if I've missed anything yet. It's tough to tell. This is pretty nifty. Oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Not Colin Ray, the country singer, Colin Hay. Yeah. Just like my unboxing videos, what could it be now? That's why that song always plays in the background, the MIDI version. Yeah, so it's not like the team making this game were a bunch of untalented hacks. It's just they only give you little sprinklings of that type of Sonic. Maybe. That could be. Did I win anything for my efforts on that? To, uh, back to the drab and dreary world of Sonic Stranding. Well, I do. I love that game, but... Oh, I got two vault keys. Okay. So I'm almost ready to go up and get that other Cheos Emerald. You know, I love Death Stranding, but I just... I don't know that I want Sonic to be Death Stranding. I want Sonic to be Sonic. Yeah, the, the chiral. If you got touched by the rain, then it would aid you very quickly. Kind of like a game of Simon right there. And cleared up a little more map, okay. All of them? Nope, one more, huh? Oh. What a bullshit artist that guy is. You know, I've always hated him. He's been doing that stuff as long as I've known him. And now, over here, knock down some Cairns. We got ourselves a gear. I read that, speaking of Gears, I read that Netflix has announced a Gears of War television series, as well as a movie. Do you think that'll be good? It could be. And I saw Cliff Blazinski, of course the creator of Gears, said that he gives his full support to Netflix, uh, hopefully casting Dave Bautista as Marcus Phoenix, the main character, who people have said 
ever since that game first came out, if they ever make a Gears movie, they need to get Batista. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's actually come out and said, you guys should do that. So maybe it'll finally happen. That'd be cool. Yeah. That robot was a prick, but we showed him a thing or two. We fixed his wagon. Now maybe I'll go around the pan handle here. See what's going on over this a ways. Hmm. How do I get out there? Who? Well, yeah, I mean, it's true. Netflix really knows... I mean, it's like any adaptation now is just... You almost expect it to be shit, but... Uh... If it's okay, if, it, if they do a decent job actually putting a story together, I think that Dave, old Davey Dave, will do a good job stepping into the role of Marcus Phoenix. What is this for? What is this? What kind of puzzle do they have here? Oh, almost. Climb up here, okay, and then how do I get up there? I wonder. That doesn't seem so obvious. What I'm supposed to do to get? Maybe I'll have to come back to it. Maybe that takes some sort of maneuver that I'm not hip to yet. Yeah. Whatever. All right, another uh, another thing. Right. See what kind of trouble we get ourselves into this time. Maybe soon. Okay. So we only have to clear it with 20 rings. This might be more difficult. Let's get sucked up into the... the what did they call this? Digital dream world, something like that. Some horse shit. Loading complete. Let's exit training. Classic as shit right here, huh? Real nice. Real nice. A real nice thing. Hold on. I w Let me grab that. Okay, up we go. A doink, yoink. I'm not worried about going quick. I, You know, I'm really not. I'm not worried about the quickness on this. And the reason why is because... Um... I'll come back and I'll do these again at some point in the future to try and perfect them, but there's so little of this type of Sonic adventuring in this game that I kind of want to savor it when I get the opportunity to, because this is like what I wish the entire game was like. Thank you. So when I get the chance... I just want to I want to stick around this type of zone and just do uh do the shit that I can do. Cuz this is fun. It's upbeat. It's fresh. It's nice. It makes me feel uh fresh and fly. This is Sonic adventuring, the way that Sonic should adventure. Look at that. Alright. 
Five star performance right there. So the only thing we didn't do was clear with an S rank time. Thank you. Mr. Jorfus says, they say Netflix is going to do an SCP movie, but there was not a specific date of release. SCP number whatever it is. So they're going to. Alright, what, what did we get for prizes that time? Because that was a good performance. Hopefully, uh... Thank you. Try and practice that on purpose. Meanwhile. <laughs> 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 mm. Alright, we got some Valk keys. That means I can go and get that, uh... Silver Cheos Emerald. The vault was unsealed and can now be opened with a vault key. There it is. All right. Good night. Love you. Actually, I mean, let's get a divorce. <laughs> Super divorce. Where's where am I right now? Where am I stationed? Oh, right here. Mr. Jorfer said good night. I've seen, you know, as far as like fan movies or videos go, there's one guy on YouTube and I can't remember his name, but he does like some really awesome uh, backrooms videos. Like, uh, has this whole backstory with like the backrooms being created by some corporation. Um, you know, is like, I guess, originally intended to be sort of like this pocket dimension where people would be able to buy office space where you could have warehouses and it would be like this unlimited storage space. And then, of course, you get into the, uh, uh, the uh, lore with the entities that are discovered there. And Kane Pixel, that's it. Yeah. That's really cool stuff. Oh, we got another key. Okay. Good, good, good. And now here, what does this do? Did that open up some uh, map space for us there? I think you're right. That sounds familiar. What would I do if, if I decided to go to the back rooms? Well, first of all, I wouldn't... I would never decide to go to the back rooms. But if I ended up there... I actually had a dream about it one time. And it wasn't like the, uh... It wasn't like your office building... You know... Uh, ceiling tiles and... Yellow carpet. It wasn't that back rooms. It was like more of the, uh... If you've seen... The back rooms that look like neighborhoods, you know? It was like that. And, uh, and I just... Jess was with me. And we somehow ended up there. And... There was, like, no one else around. None of our friends, none of our family, obviously. The neighborhood looked completely empty. But, uh... There was, uh, a truck that came by every morning. And... It would, um, the truck would put, like, a, a huge watermelon in front of each home. And in front of each home, instead of a mailbox, there was, like, a giant watermelon crushing device. So the watermelon guy would come by in his watermelon truck and would deposit a huge watermelon into the crushing device. And I remember watching this, like, unfold one morning, and I was like, this is really fucking weird. And it was unsettling, and, uh, you know, the driver himself 
remember wondering to myself if it was if it was a real person or if it was just like a an AI generated figure sitting in this truck, you know. Uh, I was I was thinking about that and I was um, uh, wondering what we we're gonna do and kind of ended up coming to the conclusion that if I was stuck there, that I was just gonna make the most of it, you know, and and perhaps at some point in the future I'd be able to figure out a way home. But until that point, uh, it's like okay, I can freak out. But that's not going to help me, that's not going to help Jess. If we're here, we're going to have to figure out how to live in the back rooms until we uh, find a way home. So, that's kind of how the dream ended. That's as close as I've ever come to getting in the back rooms, and I hope that's as close as I ever get to winding up there. Carrot says, lay off the sugar before bed, Nick. That's the strangest fucking dream I've ever heard in my life. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna argue. It was very strange. It was very unsettling. Very unsettling. Because it felt very real. It was a very vivid dream. I remember the despair of, like, thinking about how I wasn't gonna see anyone again. It's like, I'm fucked. I'm in the back back rooms people don't get out of here this is just my home now but again I, I tried to uh, suck it up not be a bitch you know summons up my resolve and say alright well if for whatever reason I've been fucked off to the back rooms then I'm just gonna I'm gonna make the most of my back rooms experience Humph. Was a good sleep. Oh, you've returned. Do you need my insight once more? Allow me to unlock the power of the seeds you've gathered. Unlock it for me, brother. Defense has gone up to level 16 and power has gone up to level 10. So maybe that'll make her. What is this? What are these things for? What if we just... Now what the hell was that? Got a key. Okay. But what is this? What are these things... What are they trying to do? Why would I turn that off, I wonder? Wait, do I have to... I turn these on and then this works? Is that right? Is that sort of the deal? Oh, no! Don't... No! Jesus! You don't have to throw me... You know, into the ocean. That was a little unfair. Is there something over there I need? Oh, I guess it has to be done in the right order. Okay. I'm going to try and not launch myself into the damn sea here. All right. Oh, I got some fishing tokens, huh? Some fishing coins. No, well, oh, god damn it. <laughs> ah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Try again. Uh, yeah, let's hear your anecdote. What, what, what happened? Maybe this will just launch me across. There we go. That's fine. That's fine with me. 
Where's she? Wait, there's another... There's another didgeridoo right there. I wonder... Let me see something. I have a suspicion. Hmm. I wonder if I ride this up... That doesn't do much. Nah, that's okay. Head down to uh, this region. Get ourselves some memory tokens. Yoink ourselves on up here. And we're going to go get ourselves a Chaos Emerald. You guys like Chaos Emeralds? I love Chaos Emeralds. like climbing these walls, you know? This is more Breath of the Sonic stuff. Oh. Boink. Again, why is that so difficult? All right, look at that. No big falls, that's good. Ugh. Hand over some keys. Unlocked with eight keys. That means only three more Cheos Emeralds left to get. Let me take a look at Mr. Jorfus's raw anecdote that happened to him. He says, I was at my uncle's house and I was playing with my cousins to the uh, blind duckling. We were playing nice and fine. Then it was my turn. I heard a voice close to me and I run to that voice and then... And then, and then, if I jump off here and go straight a ways, will I find, will I find, find some way to uh, unlock the portion of the map that's missing here? Let me see. No, it's not that way. It'd be over here. It'd be over this way somewhere. Like, right down there. What's going on over here? Why ain't I, uh... Why ain't I able to see? No. No. What? That didn't seem very helpful. Not helpful at all. Oh, look at this. A few fishing tokens. And, uh, yeah, okay. 
That's a fishing spot. But does going to the fishing spot open up this area of the map? Look at this. I can maybe work my way up here to get a few extra fishing trokens. Maybe. A little unwieldy. Uh, there's one over there. Got that one. I guess using this opens this part of the map, I hope. Okay, so he turns his... Uh, let's see. Heard a voice close. Run to the voice and then boom. My head crashed into a wall and it made a big hole in my forehead. My head was covered in blood and my uncles and my dad uh, come to the room that I was screaming and they healed my big wound and now I have a, a scar. This happened to Mr. Jorfus when he was like seven or eight years old. That is a strange story, Mr. Jorfus. Um, so there, there was no one there, is that what you're saying? Was it dark and you couldn't see? Or wait, you were playing the Blind Duckling. Is that kind of like a... I never played the Blind Duckling. Is that sort of like a Marco Polo type game, but not played in the pool? Would you like to try? Yes. Yeah, I'll let you borrow a rod. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do some fishing. A little fishing here. We hooked the flying fish. Got one token for it. But I'm sorry to hear that happen to you. I hope that uh, that was the only time that's happened and hopefully the only bad scar that you've ever suffered in your life. Sounds like a horrendous experience. Hooked a tadpole. Yeah, that's that's not gonna get you much. Well, yeah, I guess uh, I assumed that there were people you were playing with and stuff, but I mean, the it, it, the way you told the story made it sound like someone was beckoning you, uh, like a strange voice that you did not recognize. That's how I was taking it. But maybe it was just someone you were playing with. It's not like you heard a strange, creepy man that you've uh, never heard speak before. Hey, a treasure chest. With a gold card. I think that allows us to just basically pick out any item we want. Oh, well, shit. I didn't mean to do that. My bad, guys. I made an ass of myself. Sorry. A crayfish! My favorite fish. Not really. This is a nice, relaxing uh, feature. Just doing some fishing. Uh-oh, look at that. It's a chopper. Got six tokens for that guy. I figured we'd get none because you can't even eat that. Unless you're like that one guy who ate the airplane. You ever hear about that guy? You guys hear about this, uh... Guy ate an entire airplane, Kev. Can you hear about this one? Yeah. 
Over a series of years, a guy coughed up and he ate an entire airplane, Kev. It's true. If you don't believe me, look it up. You can find the video. Man eats entire airplane. Not like at one sitting, but over a period of years, he ate, uh, you know, from, from nose to tail, an entire airplane. A red stingray worth six tokens. Good job. What is it this time? A scroll. Hermit Coco's scroll. And eight tokens. Goody goody gumdrops. All the glitches that you see, all that stuff in the sky reminds me of Happy's Humble Burger Farm. If you guys haven't watched my playthrough of that one or haven't played it yourself, uh, you're missing out. Probably tied for my game of the year last year. Happy's Humble Burger Farm and uh, FNAF Security Breach, one of my two favorite games of 2021. No probably about it, they were. Those were my favorite games last year. And I believe Scythe Dev Team, who created Happy's Humble Burger Farm, I think they're having an event tomorrow, a, a digital event, where they're going to uh, perhaps be announcing their next game, which I think is going to be a VR game set in the Happy's Humble Burger Farm world. Ooh, a golden treasure chest. Three gold cards. I want the gold. A squeeze. Just one token. Not very impressive, I, I suppose. I wonder how many uh, different fish there are to catch in this game. Hmm, a star post. Now that's litter. Someone's been littering in this pond, and they should be ashamed of themselves. That does not belong in the pond. A tin can. Some more litter. Some more bullshit. I need to put some security cameras out here. Find out who's just dumping all their bullshit. And kill the the fish in here. People need to, people need these fish to be healthy. This is uh this is someone's source of food. We're fishing here for food. And you guys are throwing star posts and tin cans and other bullshit. A, a tire? A tire? Fuck. Fuck. Why? They're going to poison the whole food supply. A Nishi, Nishiki Koi. Three tokens for that. <sighs> well, enjoy the fish while you can because, um, you know, we're going to come back tomorrow and all these fish are going to be floating at the top of the damn pond. A silver acorn. That seems dangerous to be in the pond. What if it's coated in mercury and not silver? 
Everyone's gonna get brain damage from eating fish from this pond because there, there's mercury leaking from the mercury acorn. Ah, uh, it's a barracuda. Ooh, barracuda. You don't have any I don't coins. have any coins. I bet there's more back on the island. <sighs> Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a I'd actually like to view the Fishopedia, thank you. Crayfish, tadpole. A red spring, a tin can, a star post, a chopper. This guy shouldn't be in there. A ring, a tire, barracuda belongs, flying fish. Okay, a red can. No, silver acorn. No, uh, the golden, gold, golden, golden, platinum fish. You can stay. The red stingray. You can stay. A treasure box. No, I understand it being at the bottom of a lake because of. So many people finding treasure chests in bodies of water. So I, I can kind of excuse that, but it really still should not be in the pond. That's not where it belongs. It belongs in a museum. And the Hermit Coco's Scroll, another thing that shouldn't be left in the pond. There's a better place for that. How about the voice logs? Some force is keeping me from exiting cyberspace. Is it because my AI made unauthorized access to the databases? If so, that's the exact opposite of what it was supposed to do. So, uh, Dr. Eggman is trapped in cyberspace. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow. I'd like to trade some Dulkins. He's sold out of Emerald Vault Keys. I guess we can get another egg memo. I guess I can get another egg memo. And another one. And another one. And another one. And... These red seeds of power. Blue seeds of power. Uh... Plus 20 lost cocoa. I don't even remember what those guys do. Skill pieces. Uh, I, I part of me wants to just get all the egg mo memos out of the way. Now I can make sashimi. Hmm. About, uh, about another one. How about another one? This is the only place I know that I can get egg memos. I wonder why the egg memos are listed under the Fishopedia, though. Let's listen to some egg memos, guys. Let's see what's going on with Eggman. Some sort of gun military craft doing in here. Sage has helped me avoid the worst of it, and it doesn't appear to be mad. Is it a defense mechanism? I need to learn more. The terrain here keeps shifting. I'm finding recreations of regions from South Island, West Side Island, even Angel Island. Where is this environmental data coming from? I found elements from my own Eggnet, the United Federation, even Planet Donpa Kingdom race data. As best as I can surmise, this cyberspace extends well beyond the scope of these islands and is gaining information from around the world. Fascinating. I am officially jealous. This entire expanse was constructed by the ancient race who had previously settled on these islands. The level of technology they employed is completely alien to me, so I can't salvage it. Yet, it appears the Starfall Islands act as the CPU for cyberspace. Once I'm out of here, I need to secure them at all costs. I'm not able to access the data too readily, but it appears the entire history of the Ancients is recorded here in cyberspace. 
More than that, they logged their memories, their desires. It's almost like they encoded their very souls into this place. Now then, how can I use that to my benefit? So Eggman is stuck in a cyberspace landscape created by an ancient race um, of uh, beings who have apparently logged their memories, their desires, everything, their very souls into this cyber universe. Who were the ancients? They predate any civilization by a wide margin. The echidnas? <laughs> the black arms? Please. The Babylonians? <laughs> Hardly. And yet they didn't seem to influence the world beyond these three piddly islands. Why? What stopped them from conquering the world? So this ancient civilization had all this technology, but they never left the three piddly islands that he's talking about. I'm finding multiple connections between the ancients and the Chaos Emeralds. Their technology seems built with the emeralds in mind. It's almost like they share the same origin. I enjoy a good mystery, but not when the answers are more mysteries. Ah. The ancients seem to have employed a set of strange icons as keepsakes or totems. That same imagery is being used by the Coco running around the islands. Did the Coco inspire the ancients? Or did the Coco adopt the leftovers once the ancients were gone? Something wiped out the ancients, that's for certain. A catastrophic event caused dire environmental shifts across the islands. It appears they made some effort to rebuild, but they were living on borrowed time. They died out within a generation. Hmm. Some force is... Would you like to try? Okay. I'll let you borrow Let's go back to the island. Just like in Lost. Back to the island. Fast travel to Hermit Coco unlocked. Why is this still blocked off, though? No. Well, I'm just trying to... I don't like that this area is, uh... Something to do with what's going on up here. Still not revealed. What do I have to do to reveal that L shape right here? What? This. I want it to go away. I don't like it. I don't like that this is, uh, this area is still obscured from me. I don't understand why that is. Not a fan of it. I would like it to go away. I would like this area of the map to be revealed to me, please. I just did that. Unless certain areas just stay obscured for no reason. Is that what they're going to do? Let me try going this way. You know, I think a good mechanic would have been uh, if you're running using your speed boost, but you hit rings, it uh, refills your boost for you. I think that would have been something nice to do. Yeah. 
Get up there. Stop being a baby. Ah. Well, okay. Guess that's not going to work. Now, how do I do that? Up here? Is that what you want? Well, again, not exactly what I was trying for. I'm, I'm fixing to go over there. That's what I want to do. But uh, I don't see how they. I don't see how that's supposed to happen. What they want from me. And what's this right here? What is that? Do I prefer gourmet food or homemade food? Well, sometimes, homemade food can be gourmet. At least in my opinion. So... Now... But I guess it depends, you know? Oh, thanks, Jess. It's the truth. It's quite true. I ain't just blowing smoke. Now, I feel like if I could get up to that ledge, that would be nice. I don't see any way to do that, though. And I'm left, you know, uh, screaming the words of the immortal, is it Adam Lambert? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I don't know what they want from me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I'll just, uh, I'll just go straight this way. How about? See if that really pops my kernels. Was that something I've missed? Hold on. Oh, we can't use the menu while there's a fight happening, apparently. Get a couple of those. Okay, now. Let me see. I need to turn around. Every now and then I get a little. And it never coming round. Turn around. That way? No. That way. No. This way? Uh, yeah. I think. No. Down here. Where is that? Well, I'm, I'm seeing a... I'm seeing some sort of encounter here. Oh, it, maybe this is it. Where... Yeah, I'm still not ready. Okay. Alright. Whatever you say, I'm not ready yet. Oh. Oh. So that's how it is, huh? Well, I'll just take these memory tokens and be on my way. And you can have fun being over there uh, by yourself. Now wait, that's not going to work.
Puzzle complete. Got ourselves a seed, and we have uh, opened up a bit more of the uh, information superhighway. Ourselves a few of those guys. And, uh, and next we will uh, continue on by moving southeast. This way. A key! You have 25 keys now. Gotta be careful we don't send ourselves careening to our doom. Like uh, unfortunate basketball player Kareen Abdul-Jabbar fell to his death, uh, slam dunking or attempting to. Poor Kareen Abdul-Jabbar just careened uh, right down to his to his death, just like that. What does this mean? Go night night. Come back at night, maybe? Mm. They also wanted me to find my friends, right? So... Hold on, this area is like... This area right here... I feel like there's something I can expose here, and I'm not talking about myself. I feel like I can expose more of this map. No, you gotta... God. Ah! Ah! I did the wrong thing again. Sick of it. Oh, look at that. Went right around the thing I needed to to not go right around. But maybe. Hmm. Go this way? It's gone into like a platforming mode out of nowhere. What is this all about then? Just some coins. Just some measly coins, that's it. That's all you give me for coming up here. Hmm. Without the falling, without the unnecessary falling this time. I think I gotta hit a nice. Oh, well, fuck, fuck, really, fuck, super fuck. Again. Upsy daisies and uh, just a little, little tippity tap there. Nail. Okay. Hmm. 
And where are you going to take me now? Is that it? Just giving me some shards? Is that all I get? <sighs> Did I get my three hours of sleep? I got a little bit more than that, but still not, not a full night's rest. I still don't feel quite rested. Still feel a, a little laggy today. Okay, now. I'd like to head into this mysterious gray region to see if perhaps there's something over here that I can do to, um... Well, I did this. I can't believe that son of a bitch shit. Let me try it again. Try it again. Don't miss it this time, Salnik. Get a few of these guys up here. Get that. Oh, I I never even realized I could be busting those metal boxes open. That it? No big reveal right there? Well, fine. What's it gonna take to open this pit up? To show a little bit of this map, to show a little of what's on, what's on tap here. Cause I don't, they're giving me nothing. They're giving me absolutely nothing here. A big old shit burger, that's all. Perhaps around the loop de loop. That wasn't it. Alright. It's just a it's a surprise sign. Fielder's choice, whatever it is. No idea. Whoop. Hmm. Still nothing. Okay. I'm just not seeing anything. I just don't know. I just don't know. I just really don't know. I'm just having a really hard time with this. This is a really tough time for me. I'm trying to figure out what it is these people want. You know? What do they want? That's what I liked about, uh, or that's what I liked about Assassin's Creed. They had the you know, the, the vantage points you had to climb to. And once you did that and you use your eagle vision, why, then the whole damn shit opened up for you. No big deal. You want to open up part of the map, you know what you got to do. You got to find a big ass tower and climb it. Hey, look, it's squealed. I didn't really mean to do this. Because now he's going to be annoying. Maybe I should go find Amy. Ninja. What's that? Uh, yeah. I don't really feel like it right now, to be honest. I don't really feel like fighting you right now, ninja. You know, go find something else to do. That's how I feel about you. It's like that part in Weekend at Bernie's where the guy comes up to rob Larry. Walking down the street, you know, or, what is he in the park, I think. Guy comes up with a knife. So give me your money, pal. 
He's like, ah, fuck off, it's too hot. That's how I feel right now. It's like, I don't, I don't care about you and the things you do. I don't care about you wanting to fight me. I no time for fighting right now. I'm trying to navigate this damn map. And... Yes, I've been... I've been over there. If I... twist this way... and look in that direction... that's where I can go. And, uh... And maybe go meet Amy. And maybe she'll give me some smooches. We're gonna go smooch with Amy for a little while. Oh look, it's another one of these guys. I don't really feel like fighting him, you know why? Because I don't think it's worth my time and effort. If it's anything like the first time that I, I took on one of those guys. I was not very impressed with the uh, selection of items I got for destroying that fellow. And if I don't have to, then I'm not going to bother with it. So, hmm. And, um, can I use my map now? I need to look. Down here. Hey, I can go over here first, can I? I'm gonna try that. Uh oh! Girls18 Online has entered the chat. New adult dating chat free. Uh oh! You're gonna get me sucking my bone broth. New adult, ta new adult dating chat free. New adult dating chat free. It's a new adult dating chat. It's free, guys. Guys, check it out. Girls 18 online. New adult dating chat, and it's free. Did I mention it's free? How much does it cost? It's free. It has no cost. No cost to you, except your time, of course. It's a new adult dating chat, and it's free. Doesn't cost any money, because it's free. What if I want a tip? No, 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 we don't accept tips, because it's free. It's a free adult dating chat. New. How old is it? It's new. Has it been around for five years? No, it's new. Whoop! Well, I jump over that. Oh, look at that. I spiked myself. I want to make sure to get that. Let's go back the other way. Pop, pop, pop. Hop on pop. I fear I've probably missed one of the uh, one of the red stars. I fear. No, I haven't yet. Well, goody goody gumdrops. Look at that. I must have done a good job. Hey, I got all the red stars. Good job. Hey, Restream.io says, Congratulations, you received 100 messages today with Restream Chat. Thank you. Carrot says, My damned internet is back. You missed the Girls 18 online, Carrot. New adult dating chat. Free! It's free! They even left a, a heart. And a smiley face with heart eyes emoji in the chat for me. So they must really like me here. 
girls 18 adult uh new adult dating chat for free online are you are you here to sponsor my channel <sighs> will you be offering me a lucrative sponsorship deal girls 18 online new adult dating chat free Got three vault keys for that. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Went down the wrong pipe. What is this? Hey, there's Amy. Is that you? Is someone there? Help me! Hang on! Maybe messing with the ruins will fix things. Um, I like the sound of that carrot. Super Divorce! Brought to you by Girls18 Free Adult Dating Website Chat Free.gov On the internet. On YouTube. And or Twitch. All you need is heart. Heart wins the day every time. Who is this in the shadows? I hope it's not M Shadows from Avenge Sevenfold. Here to take me to Bat Country. Are you alright? Me? You're the one who's only half here. I feel fine, but that energy that was holding me prisoner went into you. Eh, I've been infused with weird zappy stuff before. Besides, I feel like it gave me some kind of boost. Well, in that case, we need to get moving. If I was trapped, I'm sure Tails was hmm. too. Good call. I'll scout around and find you later. Deal? Deal. Be careful. Careful? Where's the fun in that? That's right. Where is the fun in careful? Hey, we... You are the key. Be empowered with this technique. With this technique, huh? What is it kind of technique? Uh oh. Who is that? Siren head? Beefy siren head, kind of. I've not played Dying Light, so I'm not sure. I guess that's one of the Titans keeping Amy trapped. Who's that little girl? What's her deal? Too? Do not approach the Titan. Sorry, kid, but I've got a job to do. If we are fortunate, it will destroy you. Sega Genesis Evangelion. Doing this until we get up to his ass, I guess. Knock him right in his face. Keep it going, huh? Oh, 
Ooh, that's a big throw. Is Dying Light fun? Should I play it sometime? Thought about it. I like zombie games. Saw mixed reviews, uh, I think, of Dying Light. Not that I really care that much, I'm just saying. Okay. I'm not taking that thing down the traditional way. I'm gonna need the Chaos Emeralds. And maybe a little bit of luck. Well, lucky for us, we've already got a few Chaos Emeralds. express their feelings, but if they don't do it now, they may never get the chance. You got all that, huh? I feel like the dimension I'm in is translating for me. It's strange, but feels natural. You always had a knack for weird insights. Who am I to argue? Well, don't you worry. We'll reunite you with your lost love. I would think we've got more pressing issues, but again, who am I to argue? We have to find the Coco's one true love. I guess. But now it's saying talk to Amy again. Over there, we just have to keep finding Amy and talking to her. Dying Light's kind of pain in the ass, but... Uh, but you liked it, Carrot. Well, I mean, I've played plenty of pain-in-the-ass games around here, so... That ain't no thing. Find your one true love on Girls18 free chat adult dating free online website. I wouldn't be able to do this uh, this channel without them. Wait, what, what am I supposed to do? What am I doing here? I, I just have to... Is this like a... A shepherding game. I have to roll them all over here. This is a strange thing they're making me do. Where? Who have I missed? Oh, these. These guys over here. Well, shit. Now nah, they're scattering too much. That's stupid. <coughs> Failed, it says. Yeah, we're going to retry, of course. 
Okay. Okay, there are none behind me here. Get all these guys. I'm trying to keep you guys together, you lot. Kind of go from side to side, trying to uh, drive them all back towards the middle. Whoop! Hey, we did it! He oh, that gets us a, a, a Cheos Emerald. Well, look at that, would ya? Where'd they go? What happened? Did they die? What? Okay, okay. We'll keep looking. Sonic, they act like none of that happened. Do we even know what that was? No, I don't know. No, but I got a sense of completion, uh, comfort. Weird. Now let's keep moving. I want to wrap up our time here ASAP. Sounds good to me. Hmm. Are they ghosts? With unfinished business you're trying to help them take care of? Something like that? Something like that? Is that what's going on there? this. Don't know. I don't like these ones where it doesn't give you any idea uh, concerning what you're supposed to do. Amy's memory tokens. Collect these heart shaped items. Amy's memory tokens. To free Amy. Amy's memory tokens can be obtained by exploring the island fishing and with Silo. Well, I knew that already. We've been knowing that since last night. That's no sort of revelation to me. That's a revelation for babies. For people who've never played this game before. AKA dipshits. What do you got for me now, Amy? It is a bit strange they don't push it towards the story mode. You really have to kind of keep yourself on track with it. It's easy to miss. Very easy to miss the story mode, you know. You again? Submit. Your reckless actions endanger the world. Care to explain how saving my friends is a bad thing? You are an enemy combatant. I will not share data with you. What is wrong with you? Sonic would never endanger anyone. He's even going to help this Coco reunite with their one true love. Love. An emotional status too vague and varied in its definition. <laughs> you are both too ignorant to be helped. What a hipster. Who? Um... 
What was that girl? Aside from being a pain, no clue. Yeah, the the plot is um hmm. What's going on there? Uh, yeah, it seems like okay. Just uh, just keep finding Amy. That's the story mode. You do a little thing, and then these look like homes. I wonder who used to live here. Amy. Zips off across the map, and then you gotta run and chase her down again. Talk to her. That progresses the story a little bit. farming going on maybe if you use that new technique of yours you can clean up all this wild brush time to sigh loop reach 7,000 points before the timer runs out watch out for bees avoid them by luring them towards flowers by using quick sigh loop on seeds to make them bloom Alright. Okay. Am I just supposed to clean up the yard? Is that what they want me to do? Just clean up the ad. Whoop. Oh, well, damn it. That was dumb. Why didn't that work? Why, again? For real? I think we can still do it. No, you stupid... Ha! Look at that shit. Alright. Okay. I did it, right? Another Cheos Emerald. Look at that. I'll leave just one more. So, all this used to be farmland, huh? Yes. They make it sound like it was abundant. But now... I mean... It's grassy. Yep. But... 
I've seen this kind of recovery in areas Dr. Eggman damaged. Something ruined this land, and it's barely begun to recover. Then we need to make sure it has plenty of time to heal. Right. Hmm. All right. Keep tabs on the hedgehog. I want constant updates. Yes, sir. And keep looking for a way to get me out of here. I am evaluating all safe options. Keep up the good work, Sage. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, why is she all buddy buddy with him? I am extending the range of my control, but I can still only command a few of the ancient's relics at a time. Commendable. But what about finding me a way out of this digital dimension? I have run 1,700,050 simulations. There is no scenario to safely remove you from cyberspace. Unacceptable. Keep looking. Make it your number one priority. But keeping you safe is my priority. But why? Talk to Amy again. Yep, just one more Cheos Emerald to go. Uh, where is Amy now? Where she hopped off to? She's over that away. She's over there. Okay. You know, I saw someone make a comment on Twitter that I thought was pretty accurate. They said this game has big Sega hire this man energy. If you know what I'm talking about. You ever see those posts where someone will, uh, you know, they'll, they'll post um, like a 30 second clip of, I don't know, a Mario or, uh, you know, a Link just running through a very fancy looking field created in like the Unreal Engine and everything's like you know super crisp and uh, looks very nice graphically but it's it's just like a character running through a field and everyone's like amazed by it They'd be like Nintendo hire this man Sega hire this man like that's uh that's how this feels a little bit. Like a really good, I mean, a fan game, kind of, you know? This doesn't feel like a cohesive Sonic product. A chode emerald. I know what you mean. Maybe we should just let them wrap it up on their own. We have to see this through. We still haven't found tails. We've been wrangling children and taking detours the whole way. Are you telling me you would leave behind someone in need? No, but I'm also worried about you. You can't help anyone if you're stuck in limbo. All right. Then hurry up and save me too, so we can find Tails. Sounds simple enough. A fan game by someone with like no concept of how to write a story. Like I don't, I don't like. Uh, I'm not here to trash this game. Because again, it's weird in that. Uh, it's a very odd game and there are things about it that I find kind of intriguing and interesting and some of it's fun. Like, I don't hate it. It's not going to be my favorite Sonic game ever made, I'll say that. But, uh, like, the story is, like, non-existent. I have no problem trashing the story because it barely exists. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, so now we want to go on over here.
Yep. Ooh. Come on now. Just come on now. Some of those shards. I just unlocked an achievement called Celestial Rain. Celestial Rain. Son of the Hedgehog in a digital world. Celestial rain. Starfall. Once every few nights, meteors will fall like rain. When this happens, items and enemies in the open field will be resurrected. Wow, they, they were playing their Breath of the Wild, huh? Uh, picking up the fallen star pieces will allow Sonic to use the slot machine. Get purple coins when the patterns line up. What slot machine? The, oh, that slot machine. <laughs> Okay. Uh, wait, what, uh, hold on. I feel like maybe I missed something. I don't, I, I don't really understand exactly what's going on here. Another thing that, that just seems like uh, out of nowhere, and you're like, uh, okay then. How long does this go on? How long do we do this? I suppose until it stops. I guess I'll just keep going. It seems like I probably should. But I can't say I'm not confused. Anyone else know what's happening right now? Because I don't. Do I get to keep all this stuff? That's one thing I'm wondering. Not to be like this kid in my uh, kindergarten class. What was his name? I think his name was Don. Well, I got a bunch of shit, so that's that's good. I suppose that's good. Do I... Did I keep those? Yeah, looks like I got I got to keep them. Okay, well, that's a lot of fishing I get to go and do, I suppose. But I went to uh, kindergarten with a kid, and I remember one time we were doing an activity where we were counting pennies. And I think every kid was given like 10 pennies and you had to count them and separate them in certain piles and uh, this kid Don he raised his hand and he's like Mrs. Smith do we gotta keep the pennies after we're done counting them and she like snaps her head around she's like 
I was going to let you until you asked. And then we, we weren't allowed to keep the pennies. And she took them all back. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> she wasn't the nicest teacher. sepia tone <laughs> Now who is that? No, it's too dangerous. Reminds me of one of those guys from Sonic Adventure. Yeah, that teacher also used to bring donuts, and she would sit them on her desk and eat them in front of us, like, smacking her lips. Mocking us because we couldn't eat in class. Smacking her lips, eating her donut. Mmm, I bet you guys wish you could have donuts in class. If you asked to go get a drink, you know what she would say? Drink your spit. Not even joking. That was my... Uh, that might have been first grade teacher, sorry. Not kindergarten. They were reunited. Right before the end. They're together now. You take a minute. I'm gonna keep moving. Talk to Amy again. though before I talk to Amy oh I haven't done this in a while I haven't upgraded my skills I have 10 of those to use uh, or 15 mm. stomp attack we'll do that Gotcha. All right. I think we can exit the training on that. Oh, I can't save right now. Can I save now? No. Well, fine. Quite a psychotic teacher, Carrot. But back then, you, we just had to put up with it, you know? Not like any of us kids had a smartphone we could record video on and expose... Uh, the, the injustices of our classroom to the world, we just had to sit there and yeah. um, deal with it. More. I'm not sure what happened, but I know what I saw. A love that transcended time. I believe in that power. When this is over, I want to share that love with the world. Even though... It may take us far apart. I know you'll do great. I want to hear all about it when you come back. Jorfa says I thought that the cuckoo's hat was his head chopped off. Oh, hold on. Here's the, uh... 
What's up, Amy? Look, uh, wasn't this region locked off mm -hmm. before? I think you can interact with it now. I think you can rotate some of them. Maybe they'll act like the other puzzle locks and show me the way to that Titan. It's worth a shot. All right, what's the right way to do this? Hmm, looks like there's a pattern on the ground. Among the many tombstones, there are black tombstones that can be turned. Turn these tombstones and point them in the right direction. The pattern on the ground may give a hint. It certainly does feel like a, a fan fiction, doesn't it? Let me see. So, uh... Um, what if we turn this... No, not that one. Uh, oh, X plus... X plus turning. If we want to follow the, the pattern here. Um, hmm. That one, no. There. Uh, how about this one? Those closer. What's missing here? No. Not like that. No. Yeah. I feel like we keep getting very close indeed to the way it needs to be, and uh, we're just missing the mark somehow. This is annoying. I don't like I don't like this part, guys. This is tedious and boring. What they damn ass want. Um, you got the little boot connected right there. You can go that way, that doesn't work. That's not it. I mean, I'm trying to follow the little skid marks on the ground. That's what they said to do.
look, and then you move that and the whole damn shit goes sideways. Pointing at that guy in the middle, that doesn't do anything. This is lame. I don't like this. This is a poopy ass puzzle. Not a fan. I mean, which one? What's the, uh, what's the movement prime? What would they like me to start with? Like that? And, and then move where? Exactly. That lights up all that shit, which seems like a good idea. And then you would think, oh well, okay, you get that, that's gonna be good. But no, that's not right. That doesn't work. And then we can't... Hmm. <sighs> and then when you go to move this one, then they all start screwing up out of place. See? It's a trick. It's a bullshitty trick that they're doing. And, um... Nah. Nah, this sucks! Pay attention to the skid marks on the ground to move the little things where you need them to go. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get 90% of them lined up, you know, in the way they need to be lined up, and then we'll just, uh, then we'll just go fuck ourselves because we can't finish it. And I know that's not right, right there. You know, this, we don't need that strand going across that way. That doesn't work. No. Hmm. Tch. What a waste of time. I can't stand... It's like... This isn't supposed to be a big fancy puzzle game. We're supposed to be doing platforming, running around, collecting rings, and such. I shouldn't have to worry about going around and doing shit like this in a Zanuck the Hedgehog game. I shouldn't have to worry about it. It's Gorpage. It's pissing me off. And, 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 and look at that. It's like then there's, oh, I just have to move this one over here. And then when you do that, every single one changes position. And it turns into a big old shit storm. You think you got it figured out. And it's like, but wait, you're fucked. That's not the right way. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I don't know, is there some trick? Oh, finally. 
shit the damn ass, man. There we go. Who can it be now? What is this? You did it, Sonic. I'm sensing the Titan up ahead. This is it. The big showdown. Big showdown. It'll be a short match if I can't find the last Chaos Emerald, though. I searched everywhere I could. I'm out of ideas. So where is it? Eh, maybe I'll find it along eh. the way. Head to the top of the waterfall. So we must be about to uh, stumble upon the last Chaos Emerald somewhere here. We're going to have to find it along the way. Or else we wouldn't be uh, able to continue. Well... No. There we go. Giganto. Giganto the Titan. Climb Giganto. Sonic cannot match Giganto's power yet. Reach Giganto's head to transform into Super Sonic. Okay, so he must have the last Chaos Emerald up on top of his big ass dome, huh? We'll use these boosters, I suppose, to uh, climb up Toffee's ass. And uh, how about over here? Looks like we got some boosters over on the side. We can just get over here. Just... Well. thought Keep going there and uh whoa that was close all right hey there it is look at that supersonic time come to me come to butthead there we go Uh oh. Supersonic! Supersonic doesn't take damage, but rings will be lost as the battle goes on. Because of the time limit, the key to this battle is to efficiently deal heavy damage. Using Sonic's knowledge and techniques, defeat the enemy! Well. Silly. I 
I'm not sure exactly uh, how I'm supposed to finish this, you know, before I run out of coins. I hope I can find more coins. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any coins around, so, um, that keeps happening. So, do I need to just, like, make sure I have 400 coins when I come in here? I haven't really learned any big fighting techniques besides the combo, just keep mashing X. Try again. Maybe I have to parry his attack. Maybe that... Um makes the difference. Now I have zero out of uh, 400 coins. Well, I'm gonna need more than that. That's for sure. Hopefully I can find 400 coins lying around this area. because my attacks don't seem to be, uh, you know, where they need to be to finish the fight quickly. I didn't realize I wasn't going to have a chance to, you know, go and upgrade. Or else I would have done that. Is this, I mean, is this the final boss fight? It can't be. I haven't even found Tails yet. But I don't see any coins, like, around, which seems like it would have been a good idea to give players an opportunity to collect some coins before beginning this boss fight. Yeah, and the, the metal is another, yet another thing that's just not making sense here. Because it is Sonic, as you said, it's not... It's not Shadow. I'm not playing a Shadow game. I couldn't make it that time, huh? <sighs> Maybe there are more coins on top of his head that I didn't get. see any coins up here. So that sucks. So what do I have? I don't, I don't get it. Oh shit, I missed it. Y plus B. Oh, that helps, I guess. Oh, okay. Didn't know he was going to do that again so quickly. Where'd he go? 
No, I did it that time. Damn it. Should've been another parry. No. Fuck, man. It's just... I don't like how the, uh... It's like they don't give you a very good... Indication that he's about to fucking wind up. Cutscene. Middle mid battle cutscene. Now he's got some other horse shit coming at us. shouldn't matter because we can't take damage when we're supersonic. That better be it. No, that, that doesn't even stop it? That's just like to uh, keep fighting? Well, looks like we're going to be trying this again, and maybe again and again. Close, but no cigar. Okay. God damn it. Ugh. This is annoying. Okay. Nope. Overshot it. Great. You know, they couldn't just... I guess it was too much to just have them start the damn fight off. Like, I have to do this every time. One of my biggest pet peeves in the world of games... It's like, oh, you know, you just did the the hard thing and fought. No, god damn it. All right. Again. Okay, can we just keep this kind of combo going? Why is it doing that? Ah, why am I way over there? I seem to have no control over like where I'm aiming. I just have to kind of take it and... Oh, okay, well I'm punching him in the stomach now. All right.
like seems like his health just doesn't want to stay down. What the fuck? I had the damn parry up. Ah! Dumb son of a bitch. <sighs> okay. Um... Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I did pretty much everything perfectly, except I missed, like, one time. I tried to parry and missed one time. I, I Like, it looks like my attack is just not where it needs to be. So... I can't fuck off. It won't let me leave this area. Hmm. I mean, is there a weak spot I'm missing here? That has to be. It has to be that I'm missing a weak spot. Yeah, add another thing to the list. Shin Godzilla. I'll try again. Okay, cool. Because I didn't get any coins. Alright. More rings. Sorry. Where is it? There's like a little... There we go. Perhaps I do need to destroy the lasers. And I prefer lasers with a Z. I think it, it looks... The spelling of lasers with a Z just looks more lasery. <clears throat> it's like if you could ask laser, how do you want to be spelled? It would say definitely with a Z. see where the damn damage is the most intense. Definitely well, I was going to say definitely on his head. But I just it doesn't give you a very good Yeah, I, I just I hate how it it slips all over the place when you're trying to stay locked on to like one part of his body and then it just and why does it go down to like twenties? This is crap. God damn it. I mean, this is a failed attempt right here, but I... Oh wait, I've got another 
that another attack I can do? Didn't even know that. Oh, that's that's a good idea to try the Psy loop. Didn't even think of that. Let me see if that works. Hey, good idea, Carrot. Thank you. Now watch me get like 400 and I get up there and uh, it takes me back down to 100. That'd just be perfect. Big stupid dummy, I forgot all about the Psy loop. This could really be a game changer here. All right, halfway ready. Go and give this another shot, please. As long as I don't get stepped on first. That'd be funny. Get to 400 and then get stepped on and just die immediately. A nice humiliating death. Less than a hundred away. And hopefully we won't have to do this again. Ooh, can we just fly on up there? What is that? If Sonic boosts with the maximum number of rings, he can run at even higher speeds while emitting blue lightning around him. When the ring count is reduced, it will revert back to a normal Bust. Gary Busty. That's a nice Bust right there. Alright, let's Bust it up. Don't, don't fall down now. No, damn it. All right, slowly we go. I was testing you, Carrot, and you passed. Indeed. Alright, where did I go? Alright, let's try again. That works, I guess, doesn't it? Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, that works. <clears throat> Didn't even realize I had that attack until like the end of the last fight that I was up here giving him. And we got him this time. He doesn't like that attack. I don't like it when I do that. Alright, you son of a bitch. Now. Now how about it? Now how about ya? Why is everything missing? That all you got? Huh? Anything else? Oh, okay, a little, a little tippy tap. That's fine. Hmm. Oh, he's trying to bite me. He's trying to chomp me up. No, we're not gonna do that. Not really into that move. Fight this shit. There you go, buddy. How's that for ya? Over. Nicely done, Sonic. Nicely done, my friend. Well, that's a good fireworks show. said titans earlier, plural. Darn it. I guess this isn't over until I pop all the big Thank bots. Thank you, Kara. Sorry, Amy. I'm feeling more like my old self. It's working. Keep going and don't keep me waiting. I'll be back before you can do a fortune card reading. See ya! Conquered Kronos Island. So we've unlocked an achievement called the beginning. So it was not the end of the game. That was the beginning of the game. Super duper mega ultra pro gamer right here. That's what's going on. I've told you before. I am the greatest video game player alive. Oh, that's cool. I didn't want this to be easy anyway. Oh, okay. So now we're on a new island where where are all those things? A new island. What is that thing? What? Okay, I thought I was supposed to do that. Search for friends. On this new island. On this new desert isle. 
where we've unlocked nothing. Ares Island. Hmm. Try that again. I don't know what these medals are for. still have all my my fishing tokens yeah I do I was gonna be mad if they took those away I need my fishing tokens looking forward to hitting the pond again soon catching up some fish Carrot says, maybe the game will start making sense now. I don't know. That might be asking a bit too much from this game. That might be a little bit of a tall order. We'll have to see. I'm not counting on it. Whoop. Not saying it's not possible. But... I would be very surprised if we take a, a, a turn for the sensical and if it starts feeling less like a, a fan fiction fuck all. Yeah, alright, whatever. Fine. What is that? You try and hit them, they turn into a big ass rock structure, metal thingy. That's not very fair. I will say this I don't like. Um, hmm. I've never been a big fan of desert areas in games. It's just not very exciting to look at, you know what I mean? The desert area, the desert setting has never been a super exciting uh, type of scenario to be in. Just so barren and blase. And this is no different. Only you get loops here, so I guess it's it's slightly more exciting than uh, some other desert atmospheres I've been in in various video games over the years, but... What happened there? I guess I shouldn't do that. I guess I shouldn't try and go after him. Okay, well I can't kill those guys by normal means, anyhow. No clue where I'm going here. I've, I've still exposed 0% of this map. I haven't found any friends. I guess I need to go this direction, eh? What should we do for the Giganto fight? I don't know, just put in Mechagodzilla or something. That is, uh, that seems to be probably the... 
the kind of thought that went into it. Doesn't have to make sense. None of this does. And something I don't like about this, compared to, let's say, the uh, the levels where, you know, you go into the little, what it, I don't know what they're called, the throne levels, where you have to exchange the gears, you know, and, um, and then you get to do some old-fashioned Sonic-type platforming. Uh, the difference between those levels and this right here is, like, just look around. It seems I'm just lifeless. What you're looking around at. You know, you've got like random enemies thrown in, but it doesn't feel like the set pieces are like super thought out the way that the uh, the world's constructed. Okay, a strider. What should we do a Strider? Some more metals. Some more choins. Alright, what's this guy's deal? What's his... What are we trying to hit here? I don't know. I, I can't see anything. It won't lock on to anything right now. Maybe I have to get up, get up higher, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. Not too worried about it right now, okay? I'm just going to try and get over to where my friends are. Where is that? Over here? Never mind. I'll get you out. Hang on. Okay, we found Knuckles now. We need uh, three of the um, fucking medals. Knuckles memory tokens. Knuckles is in an unstable state, trapped in cyberspace. Collect his memory tokens to stabilize his condition. Memory tokens can be found around the island by exploring, fishing, and using Sa-loop. So we'll be in a similar position here, I think, as we were with Amy. We're going to have to just chase Knuckles all over fuck all, exchanging his little tokens to uh, progress the story. And also, I guess, recollect all of the Cheos Emeralds. <laughs> Why is everyone else cyberspacey but me? Some rescue. I'm still half ghost. I'm working on it, okay? What's going on with you? Uh, just a little side effect of the island's weird energy. What are you doing so far from home? I was investigating some strange ruins when I was transported here, then got trapped. Never a dull moment with you. Just bring me up to speed. Listen. Help me find the Chaos Emerald so I can beat up some big robots. You'll be free and back to guarding the Master Emerald in no time. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> okay, we've unlocked the Cyclone Kick. You are the key. Be empowered with this technique. see here what is this cyclone kick all about hold X during a combo uh, 
Oh wait. One thing. Okay. We still got some uh some shit to do before we can upgrade anything else. So let's see. Collect vault keys from portals, they say. Well, first, we're going to need to find some portals, aren't we? And probably before that, we're going to need to collect some gears to go into those portals. Got like some old-fashioned cannons set up here. Perry to hit the something. Okay, we've got a little map revealed now. And there's a Chaos Emerald straight up ahead here. Uh, just like this way. I think. Mm, now those cannons are a firing at me. I should have known that was going to happen. I should have known they weren't just for decoration. They haven't put shit for decorations in this game. We have zero of keys right now. So we need to get seven of them. However we can. Oh, you've returned. Uh, do you need my insight once more? Allow me to unlock the power of the seeds you've gathered. Go for it. Mr. Jorfer says, I gotta go. Nice and epic stream. Goodbye, everyone. Jorfus out. Good night. Good night, Jorfus. Thank you for hanging around here with Sonic and his frontiers. We are the Sonic Frontiersmen as we make our way through this game. Thank you for being a Sonic Frontiersman with me, Mr. Jorfus. Hope to see you next time. Good night. Uh, I'm tired and... Uh, return to the dream. Uh, l let me rest, child. You know, I do a good a bit of voice acting on this channel, don't I? I should put voice actor, professional voice actor, in my Twitter profile, I think. Media personality. YouTuber. Professional voice actor. And professional... Musician. I fill in the gaps with characters who are not given uh, proper dialogue. I should be getting paid. We gotta go faster here. We have opened up some more of the map. That's what I like to see. Yeah. Very nice. Just lovely there. Alright, now we're gonna head on up this way. Skippity hop over and launch ourselves. What is this? What is this area that we've walked into? Oh, okay. Oh, we it's like dropping in on Fortnite now. Look at this. 
Add another one to the list. Fortnite. Death Stranding. Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, Shin Godzilla. What was that? What just happened there? Carrot, if you could have Jay Leno voice any one character from all of animated media, who would you have Jay Leno voice? If you could replace one one voice with uh, the voice of Jay Leno, who would it be? Would it be Sonic? Snap, 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 snap. Hmm, missed it. Okay. Um, I haven't seen any of the portals here. Is that one? There's one right there, but I need... I need a gear or two. I need the gears of war. Because this is a war, make no mistake. We are in a, a sonic war right now. And I need the gears from this sonic war. To be able to continue on. And uh, to do the things I need to do. Allow me to continue and to find the things I need to find to look at all these metals I'm collecting. I don't think we'll have any problem or, uh, moving the story along, but what we will have a problem doing is we're going to have a problem with. Um, oh. Not doing anything. There we go. That built us up a high we. Ooh. Jay Leno voicing Walter White. Now there's a good idea. Not Jay Leno playing Walter White in in lieu of Brian Cranston, but having Brian Cranston you know, act and perform the role of Walter White. It's just his voice would be overdubbed with the voice of Jay Leno. I like it. I think it's a great idea. One of the best. Best casting ideas I've ever heard. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Where's this go? Hmm. Nope. Well, shit. I don't know where am I where am I going to get some gears? These guys just pop off into the damn atmosphere when I try to approach them. Uh, approach them. Approach them. Sega, hire this man. Hire, hire me. Should Sega hire me to do all of their voice acting in the voice of Jay Leno? Every character ever in every new Sonic and every new Sega game, actually.
Maybe I'll get a gear for destroying this thing. If I... If I possibly can. Doesn't seem like I can run up this guy. Can't get purchase on him to run up him. Oh, that's... That's a bad angle. Oh, I gotta... Okay, I gotta fill these rings up for some reason. That launches me up here. Well, damn. I feel like there should be a very easy maneuver to move from one ring to the other. They want me to aim that shit looking sideways. Because that's really screwy. Okay, so I can just move. I can move like that. That's good. Down to one ring. Not good. God, I could speed it up. Okay, now... Back down again. Now that I know what to do, hopefully we can speed this up a little bit. There we go. No, damn it. This game has a 94% user score on what, like Metacritic or uh, on Steam? Where's that coming from? That's all right. Just keep it up. Come on. You almost got him. There we go. Got the Strider. Hopefully you get like 55 gears. Give me just like 55 of them. We got one. One gear for that. Google users, 9 out of 10 on Steam. Wow. I'm surprised. I've... Like... Again... My feelings are, uh... Complex on this game. Because I like... I like games that are a, a bit quirky and weird. And kind of make you scratch your head a little bit as long as they as long as you can find a way to have fun playing them and uh, like the controls aren't shit which they aren't in this game we don't have shitty controls it's not like it looks bad it looks weird for being a Sonic game but it doesn't look bad and it's got a very strange story uh, that you really have to kind of P 
pieced together. They're not... I don't know. Yeah, I think the last time I agreed with IGN was probably like 2001. Back when it was still known as Internet Gaming Network. Used to be a good site. You know? Used to be a good, nice, solid place to go for video game news, reviews. Just like Game Informer used to be. A pretty good magazine. I, I, I don't know what's going on with these guys yet. Haven't figured this out. Ah, okay, we gotta use the old Psy loop on them. That's how we get rid of those fellows. Ah, damn it. I mean, the combat could be much worse. And it feels... Once you get used to it... Feels pretty good running around with Sonic. Um... It's not overly complicated. Though... I think they try to make it very complicated when the game starts. Hey, a gear. Great. I think one of my biggest complaints is the lack of uh, vibrancy and the lack of vitality that I feel from the world. It doesn't feel like a living, breathing world, and I don't know if maybe that's supposed to be on purpose? If it's supposed to feel that way, kind of like this digital wasteland. Maybe it's exactly what they were going for. And then you, you get to step out of that every now and again. It's kind of like a, a breath of fresh air. But if that's the case, that seems to be a very bold and... Um, like, serious approach to a Sonic the Hedgehog video game. I think I will say that I... I find myself enjoying it much more tonight uh, than I did yesterday when I first started it. Kind of getting some idea of what I should be doing, how I'm going to approach things, though I wish I would have had a, a bit more time uh, in the last area. I'm, I mean, I, I, I suppose I'll be able to go back at some point, I hope, because there was more there to collect and opportunities to level up, I suppose. More of the map to unlock. And see, I mean, yeah, it looks nice. I like this mood right here. This is a nice look. This is nice. This is better than, like, the cloudy, overcast look that we see a lot of time uh, that we've been playing out here in the desert. This isn't too bad. This feels kind of cozy to me. Got ourselves another key. Maybe someone will mod the soundtrack. Do you know what people are saying about the soundtrack? Have you seen that at all? In any of the reviews? <clears throat> It'd be interesting to see what the uh, <clears throat> general consensus is. Probably a little foot race coming up here. Race to the top.
Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Nope, won't do that. Go up. No. Got it. Reveal a little more of the map for us, I suppose. And one of those little... One of those little thrones over there that we can go and get our asses on. Go and do some of that shit. Ooh, another gear. I like getting the gears. That's helpful. Oh, you know what? You know who had, uh, or which game had a, a kind of fun desert? Super Mario Odyssey. I thought that was a good one. Snap. Snap. What do we got down here? Carrot says, personally, I think once the novelty wears off, people will start leaving more critical reviews. Do you feel like your um, opinion has changed at all since we started going through this one? Do you think you feel better or worse about it than maybe what you saw within the first hour? How are you feeling now at this point? Let's give this a shot. Let's see what we got going on here. Well, right off the damn side. Not what you want to do. Again. I think this music's okay. This is kind of cool. It's a cool song. Oops. Yeah, this song's kind of hip. This song's kind of hip. Oh, don't do that. About to screw yourself up, Sonic. Whoop! Oh, boy. No good. See, I like this. I keep saying it. I like when the game goes into this mode, whatever you want to call this, whatever the official name is for it. I don't know. If there was a manual, they would probably tell you. It's a little challenging. It's very challenging, actually. Uh, until you get the hang of it, which I clearly don't quite have yet, as far as you know. Whoop! Definitely not going to get that S rank time. Why does he keep doing that? Oh boy. Stupid. Yeah, 
few more rings here would be good. Well, shit. Damn. Damn. Feeling that. That's a good start. No, no, you dick! Damn it! Oh! That was a good run! Up until that fucking stupid. I tire of that. I tire of hitting. being hit by that man's silly uh, projectiles. That's fine. Go ahead. I think if the team who, uh... If they had different people working on this portion of the game, maybe it's the same people who did the all the rest of it, I don't know. But if they made an entire game like this... That could be very good. Damn it. Thought I got him before he was able to shoot. Oh well. Fuck it. Do it live. I just want to not overshoot that. There we go. Okay. Damn it. I don't like that. No, don't. No, don't you dare, you. You absolute. There we go. Okay. Get some coins in our system. And that's good. There we go. We got our. No! No! Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah, boy. They really get you there, because you're like, oh boy, it's the uh, the last red coin that I need. Surely I should jump for that. Lucky there. No, god damn it. Oh, man. As frustrating as this is, I don't mind it too much because there's. Because I, I kind of crave a little bit of this. That's fine. No. no. The thing about sections like this is that they really, uh, they play on 
you know, your your tendency to want to hurry after you've done it a few times. And then you just want to get back to where you were. And then you make stupid ass mistakes that you shouldn't be making. No! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm. Oh, boy. I thought I was going to overshoot that. Okay. Well, I got everything except the clear with rank S time. That's fine with me. I don't know what I did for that ri You mean where I, like, zipped around the circle? I don't know what happened there. That was luck. Or was it? Okay, we've got three vault keys. Now then, uh, let's see, down here, and where's Knuckles? Where'd Knuckles go? Kind of want to go over here. Access requirement, plus two keys. Does that mean I need two more than I have? Maybe? Hmm. Well, my task right now is collect vault keys from portals. seen many of those portals though Here's another one to my left ish. More to my left ish over here. Ah, there it is. It's up on top of that little that little rock formation. Circle that up. Get ourselves some gold star medals. Get some bullshit from inside those boxes. That's good. Break that mutagen container. All right, let's head on over here. I hope it's a fun one. I like to have fun. 
I hope it's lots of fun. Consecutive actions. Let's not. Let's just go to the next thing that we're supposed to do. Hey, this looks nice. See, like, compare this to the world we're just running around in. It's like not even close. It looks like a completely different game, and not, not just, well, oh, not just because of the perspective. That's not what I mean. Like the care and, and the attention to detail. Everything looks so bright and vibrant and rich. And, uh, you know, uh, full of, uh, just teeming with life and joy and happiness. Oh, we got a little hippie step, hippie hop jump. One more. We could get them all. Oh, come on, get that. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and a B rank too. I'll take that. That's better than getting a D again. I'm not worried about chain combo attacks right now. It's not what I'm concerned with. Got three vault keys. That means I have a total of. Do I have eight now? I think I have eight. Let me see. A vault was unsealed and can now be opened with a vault key. That's right. I must have eight now. Uh, eight? Yes. Next one will open up at 14. So. Where am I? Right here. If I go, uh, uh, let's see, a little, uh, a little northeast, right over there, eh? Let's head on over in that direction, right over here, where this blue light is emanating from, and we'll see if. Wait, I've gotten a few of these guys. Probably drop them off. Moving on up to the top. It's happening. They can deny me no longer. I can deny myself no longer. I can only suppress my skill for so long. That's how it works. Try to uh, present some degree of modesty, um, but I'm only able to do so much. The natural talent spills over and uh, see what happens. While I cannot fully control it, I can awaken its rage against you. What if 
find something mm. safe. Oh, okay, we're on rails here. Oh. Okay. I don't feel like I'm doing a whole lot here. I did that. I guess I can be proud of myself for uh, handling that much. No, what are you doing? What, what was that? I tried to press over and it just, the game wasn't having it. Alright, well, hey. I navigated that pretty well, huh? Not too bad. How many chuggas should you say before choo choo? Hmm. You cannot run forever. Final warning. Leave. <laughs> that was a warning? Two. Two chuggas. Chugga chugga choo choo! That's all. That's all you need. You only need two. More than two is overkill. What have we here? Deal 50 damage within the time of it. That was easy. <clears throat> we opened up some more of the map. Great news. Hey, what's that out there? What do we got going on here? We're going to be more than ready to uh, tackle all of Knuckles' memories here. Yes, grant me power. I would like you to increase my speed. Yes, increase my speed again. Uh, try increasing my ring capacity for once. I remember those easy buttons. Do they not sell them anymore? Is Staples still around? I don't, I don't know. I used to have to go to Staples for uh, my old job. Oh, fine. Get out of here. But I've had no reason to go to Staples for a long time, so I don't even know if Staples still exists as a, uh, as a chain. I mean, people still need office supplies, so I don't see why it wouldn't be around. Some other outlet should have uh, created the hard button. For people who like challenging themselves. Or for tryhards. Carrot thinks that office supply stores are so cozy. They feel warm and inviting. I feel that way about, like, Michael's. 
I like going to Michael's. I feel that way about Target. Target to me is very cozy. I always have a good time at Target. And, um... Best Buy used to feel much co cozier. It doesn't as much anymore because they have, uh... They've gotten rid of so many things I used to love to look at. I used to love to go to Best Buy and browse CDs or uh, Comp USA and browse through the computer games. Circuit City. So many of these places are gone now. But then you've got Best Buy that's still around, but they don't even have CDs anymore. You can't go look at CDs at Best Buy because they no longer sell them. And then they've also cut their movies, I mean, by like 90%, which is a real bummer. I used to love just going to Best Buy and looking through movies, look at, uh, you know, before they really cut things down, they had expanded their, their anime section. Uh, to a pretty sizable degree and it was always cool to look through stuff and find out about new hidden gems before you could you know before everyone was uh, was into it and you had every streaming service ever carrying like any anime that you would want that was a good way to find new stuff is just going to browse at Best Buy or Suncoast used to have a really good anime selection and uh, where else? Record Town. That's going back like 20 years now. It was before FYE. Uh, just retail stores in general. Bummer. It's a lost art. Trusting, Sonic. No, I'm not. Trust me. Mm. Hmm. Do I plan on making any more Super Divorce Super Shows? Uh, I'd like to. But you're right. It's, um... Like, it's not a pain in the ass in the sense that I don't enjoy the process of doing it. It's just, if... If I want to do an episode of a you know, like, another Super Divorce Super Show. Um, just like the setup and the teardown and then, of course, the editing. It turns into quite the, uh, the project. And I didn't realize when I first, you know, was just testing out the idea what kind of time commitment it was going to be. That's why, you know, I said... I was doing a pilot episode because I just thought I'd give it a shot and see not only how it was received, but also how long it was going to take to put together. And, you know, as a uh, content creator, you know, you have to, you have to look at sort of the, the return on your investment as well. And... If something takes multiple days to put together, but then you get, you know, a lot of views on it, 
and it seems like it's it's worth your time and energy, then you know, no problem. And the reason that you have to make that evaluation is because when you're working on that thing, there's other stuff you could be doing that you're not doing. Sometimes it's worth it. Other times it is not. So if I'm working on something like that, then that's time that I, I you know, can't live stream or uh, can't check out new games and and make playthroughs. So maybe, but I don't have anything planned at the moment. And it was the same thing with like the super duper divorce videos. I I'd like to do more of those. But it's another thing where it's like I I don't want to just make them because I'm entertaining myself. Uh if it kind of caught on and people are like, "Oh, I I wish you'd make more of these things," then I'll listen, and I'll do that, but because of the amount of time it takes uh it's just, uh... Yeah. Sorry. I'm getting, uh... Caught up here in this boss fight. What, what am I supposed to do? Try again. I feel like I should be able to do that. Let me try this again. The tank. Come on, little tanky tank. Come on! I can do this, but I don't... Where am I, though? There I am. Okay, I'm, I'm all the way on the side. It's tough to see for a second. Weird to not have. There we go. Knocked him down a peg. Whoa. Oh, now we go. Back to the air. Again. Oh, okay. Come on, can I pick up a. A coin or two? Kind of tough to tell what I'm allowed to hit and what I'm not. What the shit? That's... I don't like that. Let's see, what do you say, Carrot? Super Divorce, Super, the Super Duper Divorce vids I could see getting huge views if the YouTube algorithm wasn't such a bitch and actually favored pushing lesser known creative content uh, than s content super factories. Yeah, I mean, that's just the way it is. It's like you gotta, um, you gotta get creative as uh, a content creator. It's like, 
the both of those that I've done, they sat at, you know, around a hundred views on this channel for probably about a month, and then I um, I dropped each one like rotating as the uh, the suggested video at the end of Portaboy Plus, which was like my most recent video to I would say blow up if I can say that I mean it's 55,000 views or something which is nice for me if I could have every video get to like 55,000 views that would be awesome but you know it's like you just have to get you have to be the first one to get a playthrough up that people will start clicking on and uh, when that video gains traction, you can sometimes piggyback off of that. And that's what I did with those two Super Duper Divorce videos. It's like I saw th that uh, Porta Boy Plus video was doing really well. So it's like, all right, well, let me let me put the Super Duper Divorce videos at the end of that as like the next suggested video on this channel. And now, you know, I think they're both, I believe they're both over 400 views now which is a lot more than they would have ever gotten, I think, just kind of sitting there. Um, I really wanted to get the super, divor super Duper Divorce video for Night at the Gates of Hell out within, like, the week that that game was released, and I ended up not being able to do it because it required quite a bit of editing, and uh, I had, uh, you know, the stuff that me and Bender did, we basically made, like, a miniature little short film you know with all the scenes that we put in there so it took quite a while to edit it and I wasn't able to get it out as fast as I wanted to and then unfortunately when people stop searching for that game they're less likely to see the video that I've put out reviewing it and that just uh, that's the way it goes But I ain't bitching about it. I'm just saying you have to keep plugging away and trust that your hard work is going to pay off. Where is Knuckles? Uh, over there. Trying to get to the Knuckles man. Continue this silly story. Can you see that seal in the center of the pond? If we could pull it out. We could drain the water. The problem is, I'm still ghost-like, and you're useless underwater. Ain't that right. Wow, thanks for the concern. Anyway, if I can jostle the device holding the chain, maybe I can get it to reel it in? Worth a shot. Just don't slip and fall. I can't haul you out. Drain the water to move on. The pond in front of Sonic has some kind of plug. Above it, a chain is connected to a huge stopper stone. Maybe it'll move if something hits it with enough enough force. Uh, yeah, that, huh? A gun. We have to use this blaster? Is that what they want me to do? Do we have to get up top it? Hey, look, some fishing tokens. Oh, now, come on. Now, come on there.
Well, where do they want me to go? This looks like it right here. So like a passage to go down into or what? trying to point me towards here. Yeah, the water doesn't look too bad. I mean, the game in general doesn't look too bad. It's just not... Uh, it's not typical Sonic. Uh, aesthetic. Okay. Well, that's one... one way of getting up there. Just a little confused here. What, uh... What they want from me. What am I missing? It's going to be something really stupid. It's going to be something very obvious when I finally figure it out. Because that's how these things always go. I mean, it's, it's pointing me in this direction. It wants me to do something over here. that. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Very strange. Quite the... the conundrum to be in here to have this little marker telling me hey it's right here what you need to do is right here but we're not going to tell you exactly what it is that you need to do it's something kind of it, okay it's something ish right over here ish but Okay, but what is it? Well, it's it's like it's like kind of over here. There's this Look, you're within striking distance when you get right here. What is it? It's not charging at that and doing anything. It's not It's not doing a butt stomp right here. What is it? What do you guys want? What do you want me to do? <sighs> Maybe it'll move if something hits it with enough force. So is that all? No, that can't be it. It has to be that they want me to blast the chain with this gun. It's the only thing that makes sense here. So... Uh, ah. 
Oh golly, Ned. Jump back here. A butt stomp? No. Butt stomp's not doing anything. Stomping on it right here. No. Not doing anything. If this is a puzzle, it's a shit puzzle. No clue, man. Nope. No idea right here. I wonder if it's a glitch. I wonder if we've glitched into something that shouldn't be happening right here. Because I'm jumping up and it's like, oh yeah, yep, yeah, you're right there. You're right there, buddy. But nothing is happening. There's nothing to interact with. <laughs> Nothing's doing anything. I, I don't know. I'm stumped right now. Oh gosh, well, maybe that's a good place to, to pause for this evening because because um, I don't know what to do right now, and uh, and I'm starting to fade. I think I'm fading a bit. Didn't get a good night's rest last night, and uh, I hope to get a good night's rest tonight. Get some decent rest, and you know. For anyone who wants to come back, probably be streaming this again tomorrow evening. And maybe we can figure out how to uh, get this gun operational so we can blast this plug and continue on with our lives. Right now I don't know what to do and my brain is not in uh, a state where I'm really ready to try to figure it out. I'm just kind of like that point where I'm like, oh well. It's going to require thought, or it's not just going to do the damn thing right now. All right, well, fuck it. I'll, I'll come back and do it another time. I don't feel like trying to solve the riddle at the moment. Done enough of that already. So, thanks for being here, everyone. Uh, if you haven't done so, please like this video. Comment below if you got anything. Sub to the channel if you haven't done that bong the gong for notifications hit that notification bell so you know maybe when new videos go live maybe you know when I go live maybe YouTube lets you know a lot of times they don't so that's why I suggest stop by this channel once a day at least just once a day see if I've posted anything new if you stop by usually between like 10 and 11 then you might catch me live streaming if YouTube does not send you an alert. And, uh, you know, I always say this, do that for the other channels you like too. That way you don't miss out on the content that you crave from the channels that you love and you support. Just stop by their channels once a day. The ones you really care about, the, the people who you believe make must-see content, and the people you want to support. Because YouTube doesn't care so much. YouTube doesn't care about those people. They don't care about you so much. They don't care that you've subbed to a channel and that you've asked to be alerted. What is the connection between the ancients and Angel Island? Is, is there, there one? one? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out next time. You can follow me on Twitter at SuperDivorce, on Instagram at SuperDivorceBand. And um, 
If you want to listen to Super Divorce music, you can check out some tunes on Spotify, iTunes, uh, Amazon, wherever you like to stream your shit. That's where you can find Super Divorce music. So go and look it up and uh, have a jolly good time, as Carrot says. Jolly good stream here. Jolly great stream. And uh, we'll continue Sonic Frontiers. This this madcap, quirky, oddball, ugly duckling of a Sonic game. A curio, if you will, of a Sonic game. We'll come back and we'll check out more next time. All right. My friends, thanks again for being here. Uh, take real good care. Keep kicking ass. Love you lots. And Lord willing, I'll be back very soon with another video for you to watch. Bye-bye.